I came in in the last general election 2015 and I'm so proud to be representing Edmonton. We still have Conservatives in power and their cuts are really impacting on constituencies like Edmonton. So I'm working non-stop trying to assist, trying to guide, trying to navigate, trying to be an advocate for my constituents. Whilst I am representing them, more importantly, they need to know that I know how to care for them and I know what it's like to have maybe lived on benefits, because I personally do. I've actually lived like that myself. So when someone comes to see me, I do not judge them. I do not think, oh, I know, I know their story before they've opened their mouth. My parents are from Nigeria, so I always link into where I'm from because that's where I get my politics from. It's always personal. I never try to detach the two and think that oh, I can't use that in my political life. There are loads of Nigerians that live in the UK, so it's important that the diaspora work very closely with Nigeria. So I'm always in contact with the consulate and I think soft politics is one of the main things about being a politician and understanding that it's not always about the big gestures. It's the meeting for a cup of tea, it's meeting up for lunch. These are the things which actually help you. One of the roles of the International Development Brief is to be that link between defence and the Foreign Office because we are always focusing on the human aspect, the people who are the most vulnerable. We can speak up for those people. The refugee crisis and the visualisation that we can't get away from is that people are desperate, people need our help. We need to be first and foremost opening up our arms and supporting those people who are most vulnerable. My mum was trying her best to look after her four children and one of the things my mum always reminded us as young as we were was that you must always stand up for others, you must always speak up when you see something isn't right. I understood how democracy was supposed to work. It showed me you have to be courageous, you have to be strong, you mustn't allow what you think is wrong to, to be sort of brushed under the carpet. And I think that was the beginning of where I am now.